With us in the studio is Professor Ralph Seppelt from the Helm Hall Centre for Environmental Research in Leipzig. He's an expert on land use options. Professor Seppelt, thank you very much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Hello. Now, we've just had a look at that report and it gives quite a positive view on miscanthus, this grass, as a biomass uh, source of energy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, the, the, the report clearly showed that it has a uh, very good advantage compared to all the other crops that are well known for biomass production. It, it uses less water, less nitrogen, less pesticides, and it's, it, it covers the ground, so it also reduces erosion. So, very good point. However, I would like to put this in a broader context and compare it to all the other options that we have, that what we can do. We could, could produce on the land agricultural production, infrastructure, could preserve nature whatsoever. And um, the point is that if we use biomass just for burning, then I think it's really less efficient compared to all other options that we would have for producing energy. Like for instance, wind power or solar energy or whatsoever. So it may not necessarily be the best energy source. Yes. However, supporters of biomass would say that it's carbon neutral, for example. If you look at the processes, if you look at that photosynthetic processes take up carbon from the atmosphere and then uh, it is released to burning, then you're perfectly true. But if you look at the full value chain and the production, and if you look at our hunger for biomass, as we should use it and the German legislation is asking for it, has some negative effects and trade-offs to other ecosystem functions, then it is really worth considering doing something more efficient, like for instance wind power or solar energy. That brings me on to uh, the hunger for biomass and also the big debate yeah. that it involves um, about the ethics of biomass use. We are essentially using uh, this land to fill it with a grass and yeah. then burn it or, or, yeah. or crops and then burn it instead of feeding people. Yeah, actually what we do here is we, we, we have some, there are some indirect effects also to other countries in the world. With our hunger on bioenergy, it has some effects to Brazil, to Mexico, to Southeast Asia and other countries. And implying there are some land use change and, and this again leads to emissions of CO2. But anyhow, it, it also has some positive sides. So using this as a material, like so, shown in the, in, the, in the report, for instance, for these planting pots or for, for, for mm -hmm. insulation or whatsoever, it, it is really, I think we will reach the point where we need some materials that could not be produced out of oil or fossil material. We would reach the point uh, where we need to find some substitutes out of plants. And this is where Miscanthus might be a pretty good plant. It's a good plant in order to substitute, for example, or to be an ingredient in a plastic, for example. It could be. Actually, there was a very few research on this and it, it is, would be really highly important to figure this out. Perhaps then we should just use agricultural waste products as biomass. Could be. However, agricultural waste products are much more heterogeneous in terms of their substances compared to what is miscanthus. It's much more homogeneous and this was also pretty clear on the report. Okay, Professor Ralph Seppel, thank you very much again for joining us at Tomorrow Today.